guys this episode was fire if anybody tells you otherwise the other person to shut up shut up this episode was beautiful if you guys don't already know one thing about lagos is you can't take that beach houses away from us you see that beach vibe sunday vibes in fact what am i saying rich people go to the beach any day they like hi guys welcome back to a wacky wednesday oh my god my intro was whack <laughs> today is been such a very hard day for me i did something really bad today that you know is not in my person and i just hope who i offended will forgive me but yeah that's about it so let me get into the mood i almost didn't want to shoot the video today guys even though you know the person i offended really encouraged me to you know what go ahead shoot your video i don't want to be the reason why you're not shooting video but you know as it is i already promised you guys that we're going to talk about every episode on the channel sorry guys actually you want to cry <laughs> anyways moving into the video hi guys welcome back to a brand new wacky wednesday today's video we're going to be talking about the second episode of real housewives of lagos oh my god are you sure you'll be able to do this video today no, no, sure, no. yes girl you got it you do <laughs> hi guys welcome back to a brand new wacky wednesday today's video we're going to be talking about episode two of real housewives of lagos if you guys remember i said i was going to be talking about every episode on my channel we already talked about the first episode and thankfully the second episode came just in time and we're just going to be talking about everything that happened in the second episode i don't know if you guys remember that the last episode ended with iabo promising to us the girls can you guys remember we have actually lived up to our promise and thankfully for some good reasons there wasn't any bad vibes who can guess why linda did not attend why do i keep calling her linda it's laura linda has no bad vibes it's laura it has to be her episode has to be a very good one i'm not going to lie this episode was almost flawless it was beautiful i loved everything they wore oh, i would have loved everything they wore guys let me quickly get into this before I forget. Iyabo stylist. Iyabo is a freaking millionaire. I don't understand what a stylist is doing. Who is doing Iyabo's hair? Like it's so unfair. I don't know how some stylists do stuff like this. If the wigs are old, tell her, let her get new ones. Why are you doing that pepper seller kind of edges for her? It's so unfair. Like she's not even that kind of person. What the hell? I hope the stylist gets to see everybody's complaint and she you know she picks up her game good thing is we're still in the second episode there's still eight more episodes to redeem yourself don't come and be bringing the to our screen looking tacky what's that anyways guys this episode was very beautiful everybody was astonishingly beautiful however i have a problem with some of the things that Tony in lawani wore from the kente that she wore to the beach to the transformer dress to the kilo the third one that she wore to the brunch it was just weird like i don't like what tony is wearing i don't know i prefer her when she's simple than when she tries to go all out and do all of those stuff maybe this particular outfit are not nice but i know she has nicer ones but this ones that she wore in this episode ah kobojumu <laughs> Anyways, the episode actually started with Toyin Lawani and um, Laura. They had a conversation where Laura was calling, where Toyin was calling Laura out for being a B I T C H at the last event and just telling her basically, you know, what you were doing is uncalled for, babe. Why are you acting very timid, snobbish? Like, do you have a problem with anybody? Like, that's a valid question to ask, right? Because she was just in, mm, 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 at the last event and you're like, wait, what is going on? Is there somebody here that you hate? So Toy was basically asking her that, what is the issue? And Laura was like, uh, yeah, everything I did was on purpose. Are you playing? What type of playing is this? I this is playing. Wait, what? You were a bitch on purpose. Like you just wanted to annoy everybody on purpose. <sighs> Omo, Laura said it's on purpose that next time. You know what she did? 
she actually still insisted that next time Toyin wants to invite her to an event, Toyin needs to share the guest list. She needs to know who is coming so that she can prepare and wear the right character. Because I don't know why she needs a guest list. It has to be that she wants to prepare because that doesn't make any sense. And there's no way you don't even know who is coming. You guys are like friends and you're acting a series. What the hell? I want to quickly correct a notion before I jump into today's video. Who remembers when I was talking about, you know, Caroline in the first episode, when I was saying that she's giving me Zari vibes and she's giving me insecure vibes. I like to stand corrected on that. I was talking from a very, you know, misinformed standpoint, if that makes sense. What I think is, um, I wasn't, I don't think my information was accurate and I really want to take that back because on the second episode, it literally started with you know um tiana and laura having a conversation and chioma and caroline having a conversation during yoga and you know caroline was saying that she felt kind of you know sad that because she wasn't properly informed about the occasion and you guys let's be honest you know tiana styling is like a fashion goddess so imagine her inviting you to an event so i feel like it makes sense for Caroline to have thought it would have been you know it would have been such a huge event you know she needs to dress really nice so I mean she actually said that she was misinformed not like misinformed she said she didn't get you know enough information about the event so I'd like to stand corrected on that I really like the vibe that she gave in the second episode she's so calm she's pretty I know she's not insecure but she's still vain she's she still vain but I mean a little vain moment here and there is not a problem if you're watching this one and you haven't seen episode one please go and watch it because it might not really make sense because this is a continuation i'm going to be telling the story as it was and i kind of really felt bad because he felt he, he was almost as if i judged her she said that she didn't you know understand the invitation so actually the people that actually overdressed which is laura which was ugly dress laura and caroline they were not part of the planning remember chioma is the owner of the space so chioma already knows the vibe that this is brunch i need to be simple so i kind of let that go for caroline so you guys please i hope you guys can forgive me for what i said but yeah i really really liked that on the second episode she was really calm i love the demeanor with chioma it, it seems like ah and chioma are close then there is but to be honest there's nothing like that i think everybody is like equally yoked is it <laughs> equally yoked wow pastor i think everybody on this episode was like on the same wavelength and it made it so beautiful i was like ah oh, this is so good so caroline and chama were doing yoga in the first episode and caroline will say something like oh my god i need engine oil because the way chama was so flexible and caroline couldn't move and bend it was so funny but yeah that happened you know they did the um they did the old yoga while you know Tony was trying to find out what was wrong with laura and they moved on to the second scene i think the second scene was when yabo was talking to her daughter guys i love yabo so much and i remember i was worried about how she would you know be able to undo this you know series she's coming out on top it's just her weak stylist that needs to understand that this is not the assignment we give her and she needs to come correct because what a wig stylist is doing is not making any sense like what kind of wig is this what's this a whole yabo that carried people in party bus and took them to lemon seven beach house mad beach house we are not saying that is this useless wig that you want to fix on her head anyways and guys i didn't know i remember during lockdown i there were so many kids in yabo's house and i used to be like where did she be all these kids i didn't know that she actually adopted five children that just shows how selfless she is who adopts five children like in this nigeria five kids single mom it just shows that she's so much of a loving person and she wants kids around and she loves and knows how to take care of them i love our relationship with our daughter i love the conversation they had like the way they were talking about her boyfriend and how she wanted her to marry early and how she was planning for a better party it was so beautiful i loved it i was like wow it felt so real it was just beautiful guys then the party day finally came Iabo was picking everybody from their houses you know Toyin came because remember Toyin lives in Lekki Face too it's very far so Toyin had to <laughs> so I think Toyin had to come to you know Iabo's house which is um Lekki 
like if a swan or something shall but i shall know yabo lives closer to this world but Tony leaves fast so Tony had to come you know and then they were picking everybody with a party bus and it was just beautiful guys i was so impressed the way to the beach when we were going to the beach it was so much fun i loved how grateful the girls were caroline shoma the way they really appreciated yabo even Tony, the way they said oh my god she treated them really nicely guys the beach house is so nice i'm going to try to add like clips of the beach house and things that they got up to the decoration the way they ate i don't know the things the way she set it up it was like an event i was like ah, ah. and she kept saying i'm so grateful for them coming out for me they left their busy shadow to come and be with me like it just shows how appreciative she was another thing that happened when they were going to you know the beach house was when I think they were trying to pour a drink for Chioma on the boat and I think the thing entered her, <laughs> entered her eyes and Tony was like ah champagne to for Chioma Lodru Tony is a vibe on this series like she's a vibe she's giving me some kind of Raz vibes that is needed everything cannot just be posh there has to be somebody that is training some sort of Razness <laughs> does that even make any sense but yeah Tui was so much fun. I loved how the girls were grateful from when they were dancing to like the set table setting, the feeding. I loved when they were talking about the worst thing that happened to you on the internet. And when Caroline talked about that, when people were saying that she married for money, and she said that it's very awful because she didn't know the man's words. I thought it was like doom doom. <laughs> and the camera just did doom doom. You know the way I don't know like the sound and everything, it just felt really funny. I was like it's believable but you know it's hard because how do you say you don't know how much Danjuma is worth like that's a very rich man oh I love the way she the way she had activities lined up I love to retouch I hate it when my lips go out it needs to be fresh all day so it was nice the party was nice and another thing I want to say about Iyabo is I love how Iyabo looks looks at people and and really compliments them do you understand like she compliments them from her hearts like you can tell like when she says you look so beautiful and the way she looks at Shoma is weird like the way he ever looks at Shoma particularly is somehow like she's always looking at Shoma like hmm beauty <laughs> I think she actually really likes Shoma's dress sense and I think Shoma should be able to you know pass some gems on to Yabo because I love Yabo I do love Yabo like I'm loving her much more watching her on this series it's so beautiful and then when they were going she gave them this pack of gifts ah, i was like yavo hmm. you are the chief host though nobody is taking it from you like you're the host you know the part where yavo was like let's cheers and this time we're going to look deep into each other's eyes yavo really pioneered this episode i'm not going to lie to the hosting to starting of conversations she showed me and every other viewer that she got this like if you guys had questions about my affluence yeah people like me and i was like she totally have the affluence she kind of actually showed us that girl i can be wherever i want to be she really really she championed this episode she was like she was the one that actually made this episode so beautiful from hosting the girls to gifting the girls to starting conversations starting games hiring a dance instructor but wait though show max what did that dance instructor do to you guys they didn't actually show the dance instructor's face i don't know how they did it but i didn't even see her leg like that dance instructor is like she was I really annoyed them before acting that part like there's they didn't want to give her one second's promotion i didn't see her leg like i didn't even see the dance instructor's leg i don't know what happened like they, they really took her off the scene they made it look like she wasn't there i don't know is there any reason why like can you guys tell like I don't know who else watched it like i couldn't see anything about the dance instructor i was hearing her voice but i didn't see her i didn't see her face i didn't see her hand i didn't see her leg <laughs> nothing another thing i loved in this episode that i must point out is chioma's fashion sense guys chioma killed all her looks everything it was ah. girl who told you to dress that nicely like she dresses so well so ah ah oh well i want her to coach me because the next this is my season that i'm entering i'm entering 30 soon i want to start dressing like a like a queen i'm already a queen but i want to start dressing like a king's wife you know so
<laughs> like I want to <laughs> Anyway, side note, totally unrelated. That party bus that Yabo used for taking the girls to the beach, would it be nice for me to use it for my birthday? Because my birthday is actually coming and I don't have plans. I can actually put my friends in the bus and then we'll buy drinks. I will just drive around like you face one. Yeah, we can do that. Right? <laughs> we could. If there's anybody that is watching that knows what Yabo gave the girls, is it in the handbag? In the gifts bag? Yabo gave them like a gifts bag when they were going. I don't know. If there's anyone out there that knows what is in the gifts bag, please, I want to know. I'm so nosy. Like, I almost wanted to enter the bag. If there was a way to like use 3D to put me in that place and open that bag. I want to see what is in the bag. It kind of looks like money. Do you think she gave them money? I think she actually gave them money. She gave them money, guys. At the end of the day it was now nah, this episode was beautiful and the way you know this girl was not in the episode it was just peaceful i guess laura not coming was the bread of fresh air to be honest because it didn't there wasn't any drama and she was saying oh i'm not missing there's going to be drama shut up there wasn't drama there wasn't any drama you had the cause of the problem you had the drama you had the one that causes problems and you were not there so it was peaceful it was peaceful oh yeah now kill yourself it's good to look like I ate Laura, but I don't know. I just feel like she's a bit too much. Like she hasn't, at least I had a problem with Caroline in the first episode and she has redeemed herself. I've seen that, okay, maybe I was just being a bit too ash. But for Laura, even this episode, she's still messed up. How can you say that it was on purpose? Toy was trying to tell you that what you were doing is somehow, but she still insisted that, eh, yes, I'm a witch. I did on purpose. I was like, ah. Why? Who does that? Well, she was just anyhow. There's nothing to talk about Laura. Laura's page is like that Tokemakiwa's book. That the other woman it was just empty. Nothing spectacular happened about Laura. If I'm going to talk about Chioma this episode, Chioma this episode brought out class once again. She killed her looks. Every look was a hit. Everything Chioma wore, ah, bro. Everything Chioma wore was beautiful. I loved. Um, I loved Caroline's outfit to this occasion. They were very appropriate, to be honest. Everything Caroline wore was very appropriate. However, it wasn't like as fashionable as I would have wanted it to be, but she was dressed appropriate. I mean, it's not everyone that likes colorful, you know, beautiful, everything, everything loud. But she was, but when they say someone is appropriately dressed, Chioma and Caroline took that, like they explained it to us very well in this episode. Toy. Toy should please rest. All this transformer, um, alligator, kente that she's wearing. I know she's fashion goddess, but this episode, though, you didn't goddess anything. <laughs> this episode, maybe next episode when you come. And then, guys, before I go, I need to reiterate Iabo's stylist. Iabo's stylist is doing a bad work, and it, it's so annoying and so bad. I wish. And I hope that this thing changes in the next episode. Because how can you not tell Yabo, a fucking millionaire, that the wig that she wants to install is old? That you guys need to buy another wig. Like, it's not even fair. Yabo's hair looks trashy. What is it? What's on Yabo's head? What is going on? Like, this is the problem I have with Nigerians. Like, they want to mess this thing up. How can Yabo carry us with that kind of luxurious, beautiful bitch? Oh guys the video has come to an end i hope you guys enjoyed my recap and you know the insertion of the little little important clips here and here guys subscribe to my channel it's not fair i'm bringing you guys gist premium gist subscribe so that you'll be updated on friday the video that is going live is episode three you don't want to miss it yes you don't you don't want to miss it subscribe to my channel guys thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends you guys know I was in a bad mood and I still came out to do this video. So you have to appreciate me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in another video. My name is Derry and if you're not already subscribed, do subscribe. I promise you, you'll gain something big, big gifts. What Yabo gave them in that bag is nothing compared to what I'll give you on this channel. I used to give my channel members gift though. So you better subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. Quick 
update guys i know that you guys are not planning to see me but something really sad happened okay maybe not sad but rather sad i hope i don't want to say sad because obviously i'm trying to look for good vibes something shall happened um dstv um copyrighted my last video for real housewives of lagos and the video was taken down so the next episode which is this episode you're watching i'm sure you're wondering oh she didn't insert clips she didn't insert clips like she promised i just want to let you guys know that that was the reason and i've had such a long day i'm so stressed i'm so confused i don't know what to do to be able to get back the video it's currently past 11 and i literally just entered my house and i'm like oh my god i was just about to you know start editing getting in the mood but you know the bad news just came but we move still i'm going to try to appeal it and see a way to get the video back up but i guess i might have to forfeit the dsv videos that are in the video but yeah if that's what it takes we move still bye guys <laughs>